You're listening to Bible Protector from www.bibleprotector.com. I'm Matthew Vashua. The question today is which revision of the KJV is inspired and or preserved since it was revised ten times, the last being in 1850. So, what we have is the King James Bible, and the King James Bible was made in 1611, yet we know the scripture was inspired when Moses wrote it, when uh, the Apostle Paul wrote. What inspiration was, was when the Holy Ghost was using that writer to write the words of God. And that was a one-off process. Yet, the words that were written, we can say are inspired words. So all scripture is given by inspiration and those inspired words went forward in time because they were copied and translated and we know that uh, the scripture should be translated. Romans 16 and verse 26 talks about that the uh, scripture of the prophets should be made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. So the scripture should go forward, inspired words of God should go forward even in other languages. Now that's, that's a fact. That's a Bible truth. That means the King James Bible should be called the inspired word of God. And it is the preserved word of God. But what it is, unlike another translation, is that it has been got or done right. The King James Bible translators were able to select correctly out of the evidence they had available to them and they were able to so they were able to present a correct text also they were able to translate or give the sense correctly so that in English it's giving the same message or sense of what was there in the original language and what was there when the inspired first copy or autograph was written by the original author under or by the power of God so, when the King James Bible was made in 1611, we now ask the question, has the King James Bible changed in its uh, inspiration since 1611? Well, the answer is no, because what has changed in the King James Bible is only to do with a revisionary work or editorial work, which is in the English only, not to do with the text and the translation. So, the Bible that the translators made in 1611, that was printed in 1611, as we see today, is exactly the same in today's editions of the King James Bible, and particularly the pure Cambridge edition, which uh, represents the last and final form of the uh, revisionary work or purification of uh, editorial work on the English of the King James Bible, that the presentation is correct, we have the same version and translation that was there in 1611, so it is the inspired word of God today and preserved. Now then we come to, uh, was the King James Bible revised? Well, the tra text and translation was not revised of the King James Bible. Any addition or any revision of that nature, such as Scrivener's uh, Cambridge Paragraph Bible from 1870s, that cannot be counted as a true historical, ordinary, normal, traditional, uh, coming out of the right uh, lineage, King James Bible, which uh, actually defies the tradition of the King James Bible and is a dead-end branch on the editions tree. And what we have is the main branches of the King James Bible of the editions tree come through the Oxford University Press and the Cambridge University Press and also through the London printers and uh, Air and Spottiswood was the main printing uh, printers of, of London of the King James Bible in the 1800s. And what you'll find is if you look at editions both historically, that is between 1611 and 1769 and also since 1769 between the different publishers of the main different publishers, you'll find that there are tiny differences between each King James Bible. Spelling differences, um, someone might have made a typographical mistake, printed errors, these kind of things, and these were occurring all the way from when the King James Bible was first printed in 1611, have already been and have been worked on and are fixed and other, of course, mistakes being made over time in, in the printing or the typesetting work being corrected later on, this kind of revisionary work 
has been occurring all along. And it's not that the King James Bible has been lost or that it's gone to a state of flux or an ongoing uh, process like this, but ultimately and overall it's come through a a process of, of seven major editions and revisionary work which indicates to us according to Psalm chapter uh, Psalm number 12 uh, which is states that in verse 6 and verse 7 about that the word of God is very pure and that it's been purified seven times the word of God or the words of the Lord are pure words the words of the Lord are pure that's a fact and statement that applies to the scripture in eternity and throughout history that the words are pure but also there's a purification process on the presentation of those words so that the text in translation that was correct in 6 and 11 should also be presented correctly uh, whereas in 6 and 11 you'll find because of the conditions the pressure that the printer was under the you know uh, setting by hand in candlelight in in 6 and 11 uh, and using the black letter, black letter typeface the types of mistakes and, and uh, the, the variations in spelling you'll see then is not going to be the same as what you'll see down the track when technology improves and when there is, has been this concerted editorial effort made to standardise the text so the different spellings you'll see in 1611 are not uh, all manifest down the track and in 1769 what you'll see is that there was a great improvement by that stage because in that revision of 1769 there was the benefit of Johnson's Dictionary of the 1750s which had done much to standardise the spelling and other such things. So what you see is the King James Bible as a entity, as a version and translation has not changed since 1611 but as it's presentation forms have changed slightly over time that only is to make sure it's very clear what is the intended communicated message in the presentation uh, you'll see in 1611 a word like travail and travel there's two different words yet the spelling could be one way or the other there's, there might be confusion there now it's not saying that the words of God are actually lost or actually confused but as far as well, what is the meaning of this word because the lettering of both words might be interchangeable the way you spell it uh, it begins then to, to bring in some kind of ob- obscurity which has been cleared up by using consistent spelling forms and also uh, just the general accuracy that we have now with our you know, computerization and so on so the Kingdom's Bible was not revised merely ten times but there are seven major revisions and by major revisions we're talking about important works that were done in the King James Bible they are the second edition of 1611 which improves upon the first edition of 1611 so you have two already there first the second Uh, and another major one as far as its importance in the scheme of things is the 1613 edition and then you have the 1629 which was from Cambridge which uh, brought much more accuracy into the printing, a better presentation and so on. 1638 edition from Cambridge where even two of the surviving translators were involved and also a Mr. Goad and a, and a Mr. Mead. These two learned men also were involved in the revision. That became a standard uh, edition of the King James Bible for many years after that. 